All right, uh, let's keep looking at our starting code here. Uh, so I want to go into my courses and see what we have. So uh, going to courses, I have I have a, an interface where I can um, do CRUD methods on the different courses themselves. Right? Actually, nothing new about the interface. Uh, sort of very similar to the other ones. I'll say that the course model. Let's take a look at this. Um, it's instead of just having uh, the name here. Let's um, let's jump in. Uh, to, to models a course, uh, a course uh, you know has a key, and of course it has the name of the course. Um, but again, a course doesn't have a single owner; it has several owners. And the way that we do that in Firebase uh, is to have a map that goes from from strings to booleans. And essentially, any owner that you have, that boolean is going to have a value true. As a matter of fact, if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't have a true there, then then it won't even exist. Um, we're only going to have ones that are that are true. Uh, so let's let's take a look at what this uh, what this looks like. Um, so going into courses here, yeah. So we already had it open earlier for for name anyway, but we'll see now that we that we have owners in this particular course, uh, this Android course here. I have two owners, right? So one of them was an email password owner that I just created, kind of kind of dummy data here, um, and then I had uh, and then I had myself, right? Um, and you'll see that each of these has a value of true. Uh, so we have that uh, course adapter is going to have a query to only get courses that I own. So it's a little bit further down. So you'll notice that it's not just that that uh, that owners has a specific value; it's that owners has to contain me, All right? So let's take a look at, at that query. Uh, into uh, so this is my course adapter, yeah. and up the top here. Uh, sorry, course adapter. Um, in my my constructor for the adapter, uh, you know, get my current user. Um, so I have another another uh, helper for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a query, all right. And here, I want to see um, where for the courses ref. Okay, so I'm I'm on the courses path, and I want to order it by child. And it's not just a child owners. But notice that we've concatenated the, these two together, and this is really neat. When we figured out that we could do this, uh, thanks to Tyler for for uh, helping to work with me on this. Um, but if we were actually checking to see if the owners with our UID is true, again, so so here I am. I'm, I'm sort of looking at a specific course. That's what this that this what this was right here. So so a courses um, path, and I'm looking to see. If any course, all right, any of these three courses here has an owner, all right, with um, with a with a, an, an ID that's equal to true, okay, and that's exactly what we get going on here, okay. Um, so the result of that query, I'm gonna add my event listener on that. So again, that's only gonna give me my own courses, right? So all the ones that are just owned by me, uh, and I will put a um, I'm going to put a listener there. Okay, I'm also setting up a reference here to the owner's path to my position along the owner's path, but we'll 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 get there in a minute here. Um, so I'm going to going to uh, take a look at this child event listener, and let's see if there's any excitement there. Actually, I I think for the most part, uh, not so much. Um, let's see, yeah. So add, remove, child added, child changed, child removed, all this stuff right here. Once you get the query right. The rest is actually pretty straightforward and, and, and very similar to, to past things. Okay. So that's what, what course looks like. Um, clicking on a course, of course, you know, is is so if I if I click on an individual course, uh, as far as the UI goes, um, you know, click on Android, it's gonna go into a, a different different fragment that shows the assignments for that, and it's gonna persist that course key in the shared preferences. All right. That's courses. Next is owners, right? Uh, now owners, uh, you know, it, we, owners is also very similar. Has almost the full CRUD in, interface. It's more of CRD. We didn't see the need to edit an owner since it's so little information for them. Um, you know, it, we're going to get their name right. If we don't, we're going to realize it immediately. We're going to change it um, because the owners can only be ones that are already existing users in our app. Okay, uh, so it's going to be pretty hard to, to to mess that up. So we didn't didn't see the need to edit. 
Uh, fragment, same, we're not even gonna look at it. Um, no, nothing new that isn't in the others, okay? But the owner model here, again, is, is, is this fact that we have, you know, username and this map of course keys, right? So an owner has courses, and that's sort of the, you know, the idea that, that we have things that are, that are double linked, okay? Um, so let's, let's, let's look back in the, in the Firebase here. All right, remember, so a course, so a specific course like Android has uh, different owners. One of them is Bowtell, right? So this, this Android course is the, this key that ends in GFB has an owner of Bowtell. Now if I go and take a look at owners, all right, so I can find myself here. So here's Bowtell we'll see that, that, um, that I also am an owner of this GFB, all right? So this is linked sort of going in both directions, right? So, so uh, I as an owner have a list of courses and the, the, the different courses have lists of owners, okay? So, you know, if we wanna add a new owner, then we have to do two updates. We have to add an owner to the course and a course to this owner, right? Um, so that's, that's what's going on. So we're, so we're in the, the point. Uh, where we are, are have navigated into the owners. So let's take a look here. Uh, so we'll bring up this guy and I click on owners and I check out the owners of a course, right? So if I, you know, if I kick plus to add a different owner, unfortunately I, only, I, I didn't make another owner. So other than these two that you're seeing on there, I, I don't have any other options. Uh, and it should just bring up an error saying that they don't exist if I tried to make them anyway. But when I click to add there, um, you know, it's going to have to add to a couple different places in the Firebase. Right. So let's let's go ahead and 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 check out what that looks like. So this is within owner uh, owner adapter, okay. and again we we'll see that that um, I I have a link sort of or a reference to the current course here. So again, the courses path to the specific course that that I that um that I'm investigating at the time, and I also have a reference uh, to to owners. Uh, so here's the code to to add an owner, right? So this is the basically what gets called when I click OK on the dialog. Uh, so I'm passing it in a username, right? I'm saying you know add Joe as an owner to my course, right? Um, so Joe should already be a, a user, and there should only be one user with a username of Joe. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a query um, into the owners and looking for owners with a username that's equal to that one that I passed in here, right? So, so again, owners with, with name equal to Joe. Uh, and I'm gonna set a, set a listener that's gonna fire exactly once, because that's once I get it, I, I, I don't need to worry about it anymore. Uh, so what do I have to do? So, so I'm gonna get a snapshot um, of that. And of course, if there's, if there's nothing there, right, then there's no owner with that username. Uh, and it should just you know, pop out an error message and that's, that's what you're seeing here in the toast, okay? It turns out that I'm actually um, a little bit too high in the path. Um, so I'm gonna show you a new, new method here. Uh, so I have this, this data snapshot um, on, again, this, this is gonna be on um, all of my, uh, all of my um, owners um, of a certain type, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna loop over its children, all right? Uh, so one at a time, now there should only be one, but this is basically what you got to do to to do this, as far as I know. Um, so we go ahead um, into the into the children, and one at a time, I'm going to go ahead and grab the owner, um, and then I'm going to see if the owner, um, you know, is already one, you know, already contains the course that we're talking about, right? So I can actually look at that owner and see if they already contain the this this current course key. If if they do, I don't need to do anything. I certainly don't want to add them again, right? I don't want to add myself again as an owner, for instance. Um, but if I get to this point, then I have some double linking that's gonna ha have to happen. And you'll see that in each of these cases, I'm setting the value of something to true. Remember we said to add um, an owner to a course or a course to the owner. Uh, we're just gonna be um, getting into that map and setting a value to true. So let's see, so first, okay, and again, this is because of the fact that it's double linked. Um, I'm, I'm in the owner's path and I'm going to say, hey, go into a specific owner. So the one that I'm adding right now, and go into uh, within that owner. Go to the um, to the courses that are that uh, belong to that owner. And again, whoops. Let's let's go back in here. So within owner, so I'm in a specific owner. So maybe this is one that I that I'm adding here or whatever. I'm saying go into here um, and then go into the courses path. Okay, and going going back here. Uh, then grab a child 
um, and the core for the course key. So we have this guy right here, course key, and set it equal to true. Now, if they weren't already an owner, then this is just going to be blank, right? There's going to be nothing here. But the fact that we are calling um, and we're setting its value to true is going to create that key if it doesn't exist. So that's sort of a, an important point there. Okay. And that's the code that we write to, to do that. Um, go in the other direction. It's actually a little bit simpler. Uh, so, so back up in the course. Remember, I'm adding this person now as an owner. So I go into the owner's place within that course and uh, I go into its child. And I, which one do I want? Well, again, I want the, the owner's key, all right? So, so we have that there and I wanna set its value to true. And the same thing, it's not gonna exist, but by setting the value to true, it's gonna, it's gonna create that key value pair um, down within there. So this is actually into the level of actually changing things within objects, so to speak, okay? As opposed to, to operating on an, on an entire object. So a little bit different way of thinking, okay? Um, I just had some logic to make sure that the, the user doesn't show up twice, yeah. Uh, but that's what I want to show you, um, that, that couple of lines there to, to do the, the double linking. Um, all right, go, let's go back to the slides here. Um, let's see, so getting the owners, I uh, actually listen uh, to a single course. Um, so let's let's take a look at, at some of that. Um, let's see, so um, where was it here? That's right. So if I if I want to actually um, if I want to to um, so this guy right here, so the course um, so the value event listener on the course as a whole um, kicks off this this course value event listener. All right. I want all the all the owners of this course. So I go down into my course value event listener, and we see here that that for this guy um, that uh, we're going to go ahead and grab that specific course again i was at the level in my in my firebase uh, of getting down within a specific course so i'm kind of at this level right here uh, and i'm going to grab that snapshot uh, grab its value which is a course object and of course i can give it a key here uh, and then you know sort of clear out so i have a, a fresh slate of owners but i basically want to loop over and get each of those owners right so what I have within the course, uh, within the course here, I have a list of owner keys, but I don't have the owners really themselves, right? So like, it turns out this is really handy because this, this owner key in Rose Fire, the key is actually the username, but for the other owner, I actually need to now, now that I have this list of owners, I actually have to go into the owners and look up that, that one guy Right, and go ahead and grab his username. Right, oh, I guess that one, this one's for Hanway here. Um, so, so we're we're gonna need to listen along here to get these guys, and then each one of those is gonna have to kick off another listener. So this is is kind of what I'd characterize as like a cascaded listener, because uh, it needs to get to, to to go to different places in the table. Right, so I listen once essentially for um, for the course, and then. Uh, here within here so for each of the owners of this course um, I'm gonna grab a reference to that place within the list of owners okay to that particular owner and again I'm, I'm grabbing their key here and then I'm creating this owner value event listener within here I'm gonna add that listener to, to kick off once all right uh, so kind of interesting uh, these listeners right here for the owner event Again, this is actually at a different level. This is down uh, within the owner's path on a specific owner, and its goal is basically going to be to go ahead and to uh, to take that owner information and add it to um, to my list of owners. Right. So I said uh, that I was gonna I was gonna clear my list of owners here, and then whenever um, whenever I see an owner, and again, this isn't a child event listener. It's there's a separate listener for each owner. Um, it's going to take that owner. And it's going to um, to grab the the data out of the snapshot, add a key, and then go ahead and, and add it to the uh, to the list of owners. Okay. Um, so again, a little bit different way of, of working with things than we've used in the past. Okay. Uh, that's that. So um, so that was interesting here. Uh, what else was interesting? So adding a new owner, we did the double linking. Removing works the same way, uh, but I don't feel the need to to do that. It's just like adding. Uh, current owner removed and we need to, to go back to the list of courses. Yeah, so if I, if I actually have um, a course and I have multiple owners, 
and I remove myself, if I'm no longer an owner, then I shouldn't be looking at, you know, I, I shouldn't see that course anymore. I shouldn't see um, assignments or students within that course. Uh, so, and I certainly shouldn't be within owners at that point. So I need to navigate back to the courses. Uh, so just to mention that I, I did put a listener uh, for that. So, and that kind of gets kicked off here. So back, I guess back within this removal that I said I wasn't gonna talk about, well, here's the double linking. So, so you can look at that on your own time, very similar to the addition. Uh, so if the UID, um, the user that I'm removing, um, so basically I'm, this is mine, equals the one that I'm removing here, uh, then I'm gonna kick off this, this callback method right here. Now this is on the, on this remoter, this owner removed listener. Uh, it turns out that the listener was passed in from, so I'm in the owner adapter, is passed in from the fragment, which was passed in from the, the activity. So the listener is actually the main activity itself. And the reason I do that is because I'm gonna to have to do a fragment replacement. And as you know from other apps, uh, it's the activity that has the, the ability to replace different fragments. So um, on this owner removed, if I go back in here, so it's an interface that's defined within the fragment, but who actually does it? Um, so I'm at, at the main activity here. When it's removed, I go ahead and do a replace right here um, and move us back to the, the course list fragment. Okay. Uh, so that's about what we have there for you. Um, and you know, I would say uh, feel free certainly um, if you want to look at any other features that are in there. You know, it's 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 much bigger than ones that you've looked at. Certainly, no bigger than what your projects are going to be. Um, but again, you know, feel free to to look at things, ask other questions, and and so on. Uh, I really don't think there are many other features, if any, that are new to you. Uh, but feel free to use anything that you see there. Right. So so not a problem. Okay. All right, oops, we'll see you next time for the lab. Thank you.